I was fired today. After searching for a job for nearly three months, I started this job on April 26. It was decent pay, nearby, and the right hours. I thought everything was going okay. It was whole new industry for me and I was learning quickly. I never got any sort of employee handbook or was told any rules about anything at all. Well after getting my own desk a week in, and having a few accounts to handle, I would sometimes scroll through my phone when I had nothing else to do at the moment. It was never when I had work to be done. I even asked my co-worker daily, sometimes multiple times a day, if she had anything that I could help her with, and would do that work for her between mine. Still, sometimes I had a few free minutes, and I would respond to a text or look at Facebook for a minute. I was fired for using my phone. I think this is utterly ridiculous. If I had been told that I was not supposed to use my phone at work, I wouldn't have. So here I'm jobless again. I'm a single mom with no savings left. My 41st birthday was yesterday. And my dad is actively dying from cancer. FML. I am in a workplace that has a Schrodinger's phone. I am not allowed to use my phone but they tell me that I need a phone for about 9 tasks. I guarantee everyone else in that office uses their phones at work too. Someone wanted you out. It's rarely ever about the reason they give you. I'm guessing you pissed someone off. The petty people at the top will fire you if you don't acknowledge them in a certain light. It's almost like you have to curtsy when they walk by. This is why many companies are clamoring to have everyone return to office. They can't receive that affirmation sitting at home. There are work from home insurance jobs. They train you. Pay for your license. It's a salary job. No commissions. Thigh supply equiament. Towers Watson is one. Qualfon is another. I went straight on Indeed when I got home and applied for every office job that I met the requirements for. I don't have a whole lot of marketable skills, and am physically unable to do any sort of standing or walking. So office work, admin, clerical, customer service, is all I can look for. Pretty sure you got fired because they overhired and just used the phone thing as an excuse. If an employer of an office employee tried to fire someone for using their phone here in Australia, they would get laughed off to a psychiatric hospital. I spend 50% off my day on TikTok and nobody bats an eyelid wild what sort of labor standards US has. Need to use your phone? Go to the toilet. Need to make a call. Get your hands on an empty pack of cigarettes. Amazing how many workplaces are okay with smoking. Outside. But your phone is single-handedly going to drop GDP. I've never worked anywhere that I could not take a moment to review my emails or texts. Although I always avoided replying unless there really was a lot of downtime. But the converse is truly bizarre. Tell an employer you don't own a cell phone. And see what happens. A friend did it at one place. And they were so confused about how to interact with him. E.g. He'd have no internal chat. Email. Voice. Etc. They just bought him a new phone and paid for everything. Now I'm saving that for the next company I ever work for. It's crazy how workers are treated in US. In Germany, you are not able to fire a worker for using a phone. Here you need to give your employees two warnings before anything can happen. BTW. My employer is hiring if you're interested. If you have experience in customer service, admin, accounting, anything like that and you live near one of our offices, it could be an option. Top-notch benefits. Pay is a bit low but better than nothing. PM me if you're interested. Something tells me we aren't getting the whole story here. Welcome to corporate America. 
If you don't know the phone policy of an employer it's best to not be on it as many supervisors and higher up think it looks trashy and unprofessional. It sucks but not uncommon. With any new job it is for sure in your best interest to leave your phone in your car or try to keep it put away at all times. It's just a bad look in general for any employer evaluating a new employee. It's tough man. But every job I've ever been in I never idly am just staring off into oblivion on my phone unless I'm sure nobody of importance can see me. As a matter of fact that's why I would recommend just going to sit on a toilet and go on an internet bathroom adventure. File for unemployment since you were fired so you're not without an income while you look for something else. So sorry about your dad. Op. I lost my mom not long ago and it's truly awful losing a parent. Love him to pieces while you can. And get that unemployment going ASSP so you don't have to stress about money. Prayers for you love. Like where TF did you work if the first time you miss something they blow up instead of telling how it's done? You're better off elsewhere. But I'm so sorry they put you in this spot now. I am reading this on my phone during work. Damn I am a rebel. I mean, it is ridiculous that companies don't treat us like the adults we are. Capable of doing our work and checking our phones. However you're 40 plus and don't know. Most employers have a no phone use policy? Come on. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.